And welcome back to another episode of KC Cast. And we are now joined by Gracie Trotter, of course, um, who won the Arco West race this weekend at the Vegas Bowl. Um, Gracie, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me on. So did you so um just kind of describe that race so that I know a lot of things that happened. Uh, I don't think many people thought the two sunrise cars would go out there early and then you had to battle with um your teammates yes he loved you Elsie, and molly holland uh just take me through the, that race yeah in practice we had our one hour practice which whatever your time is in practice is what you qualify so we only had one hour uh we were struggling a bit with the car being too much on the tight side for my liking uh, we ended up ninth in qualifying, uh, so it wasn't the best practice day for us. I didn't really know what to expect, but uh, me and my crew chief, Roger, talked over some things of what we tried back in the race at February, but we were a little iffy on what to do because that was also a night race, and this race was going to be in the daytime, hot and slick. Uh, so we kind of thought up some things of what we should do to loosen the car up, and uh, Roger made some great changes. The car ended up being really good in the race. I didn't realize how good it was until probably about 20 laps in. Um, I was able to pass some cars pretty good um, on the bottom line of the track and get around some of the slower cars there at first. And then uh, usually when you start that far back, you don't see the leaders anymore. While well, I was working my way up through the field, I'm like, okay, I still see the leaders. So it's like, here we go. So. Um, I knew if we had a couple restarts, I could get up there. And we ended up getting a couple restarts and one there around. I took the lead on lap 54, I think it was. And just before that, I saw on the restart, Jesse and I think it was Blaine. They kind of got into a bit, left me a hole there coming out of two. So I took it, let them figure out what they needed to do going three wide. And uh, I just kind of made it work. Uh, I didn't lift out of it. and. Uh, drove into the next corner and took off and from there on out we walked away and uh, nothing could have went better with the day I mean it, it went perfect for me and the car the car was really good handled really good uh, I couldn't thank Roger enough and the whole team for working their butts off all day uh, on Saturday to make the car good but uh, we walked away with it and got our first win so I couldn't be happy with it yeah of course uh, there was also something that came out that you are you were the first woman to ever win in the Arca Menard series and in the Arca um, and on the Arca brand. I know the K and N series was last year when Haley Deegan won a few times, but you're the first driver to win, first female driver to win in the Arca brand. What what does that mean? To you? Yeah, it really means a lot. Honestly, when I was out there racing, I didn't know. I knew it was a big deal. It's my first win. I was really excited when I was out there leading. Uh, finishing the race and I thought it was pretty dang cool but I didn't know how big it was going to be that I was going to be the first uh, female to win in the ARCA series so uh, that was pretty cool to figure that out after the race uh, that was I actually didn't figure out figure that out until like 30 minutes after the race someone told me so um, it's pretty cool and it's awesome to get these opportunities through Toyota Race and Development and even the NASCAR Drive for Diversity program that gives drivers like me females these opportunities to go race to go showcase our talents and be able to do this and start the journey of more female drivers being able to come in the sport and uh, drivers like me and Haley going out and winning these races and, sh and showing other girls that they can do it too. Yeah um, of course we talked last week about big win at Hickory you also run late models for rev racing it's been a pretty interesting few weeks for you. Is this uh, is this been the best racing that you that you've had in your racing career? One hundred percent. Yeah, the beginning of the year, it's kind of been a struggle for me learning with uh, the new car, new teams, and um, we ha in my mind, I haven't had the best year. Uh, so, and Legend Cars, we were we were winning a lot, and then moving up, I'm just having to learn all the fundamentals over again in these cars. Just just the same process I went through racing legend cars. Um, so it's it's been a learning journey for me, been mentally tough on me, moving up to the next level of racing. Uh, so it's put me through everything and it's made me stronger and it's made me learn so much uh, this year. So um, finally getting these wins, it's 
been a huge confidence boost for me. So um, on to the next one, more wins come after the first one. Yeah. Um, it's it's going to be a while before you win in the Arkham Menard Series West again. You're going to be uh, the doubleheader weekend at Roseville and Kern. Then it's going to be the cha- and part of the championship weekend at Phoenix. Um, what what are the plans for you be, uh, while you're uh, waiting? Are you going to run some more um, late model races before you get back in the uh, ARCA car? Yeah, this Saturday, um, I'm actually running with Rev Racing out at Greenville Pickens. Never been to that racetrack before, so that'll be interesting. Going to have to watch some video from that track. Never been there, never seen a race there. Be my first time. So we're going to head down there this weekend and go race with them. And then I'm also racing the fall brawl at Hickory Motor Speedway October 17th. So that'll be a 200 lapper. That's the race I finished second last year to Taylor Gray. So we're going to go out there and win it this year. And that's going to be the weekend right before uh, the Roseville and Kern doubleheader. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely going to be, it's definitely going to be exciting. Uh, with this win, um, have the talks for next year kind of, uh, have kind of spurred up? Yeah, we've been talking some on uh, some plans just recently, so I should probably know in the next month or so. I did uh, put in another application to go back to Rev Racing for next year, so hopefully that'll be an option, and um, not I have no idea what's going on next year at all. I have no idea, so looking for sponsors for sure uh, to help me get some more races in the ARCA series, so I definitely want to continue that, go get some more wins and that next year and move up, hopefully race some of the Arkham Menards tracks, like uh, the bigger tracks to get some more experience on for the next years ahead. Uh, so I trust whatever Toyota has for me and plans for next year. All right. Gracie Trotter, thank you for doing this. Good luck, good luck this weekend in the races and uh, another congratulations uh, with, the first, with your first Arkham Menard Series West at the Bull Ring. Thank you.